This video is to give a couple of news items showing how the public unhappiness over the removal of the silver birches in Thornbury High Street has made the council deal with at least two of the inconsistencies surrounding pavement maintenance which were exposed at the time. The two silver birches were removed during severe weather in January around about the time that Wildings installed its new awnings as reported in a previous video of mine. The repercussions of the tree's removal still continue. Let's just recap on what the issues were which led to the tree's removal. Here are the Thornbury High Street silver birches and they are under threat from South Gloucestershire Council. According to notices affixed to the trees, a recent inspection had revealed that the trees had outgrown their location, that they had a history of disrupting the pavements, and that it was not possible to remedy the situation other than by removing the trees. You can see three stated reasons for their removal. One, the roots are damaging the pavement. Two, the trees cause damage to the nearby small department store. And three, the trees have outgrown their location. I want to challenge these three alleged reasons, starting with tree root damage. It was tree root damage that was of particular interest to me. One reason being because of the way that the silver birches had suddenly become an issue from out of nowhere. Thornbury Town Council had in fact been concerned about the pavements elsewhere in a location devoid of trees. Actually, the Environment Committee of Thornbury Town Council has been very concerned about uneven pavements in the High Street area. Just not about the pavement by the Silver Birches, but rather the pavement in front of the NatWest Bank in the Plain. Here is that pavement that caused so much concern. Sure, there are one or two broken slabs, and those old flagstones are quite weather-worn. And the stone cobbling may be an issue. But all in all, it is not so bad. So no issue with tree roots then. So the pavement that was considered a problem by the town council was in front of the NatWest Bank in the plain and not the pavement near the silver birches. As part of my argument against the idea that the tree roots were somehow disrupting the pavement, causing it to have become dangerous, I asked why no warning signs had been placed in the vicinity. If the pavement really is dangerous because of the tree roots, then why does the council not put warning signs there until some longer term solution is found? Also, I pointed to a tarmacked footpath in Gillenstool, just outside the town centre, where a tree root had clearly disrupted the pavement, making it an obvious danger. And if you want us to see genuine damage caused by tree roots, go to the boundary stone in Gillenstool, which is located near a primary school and a short start centre. Now look what has happened. Finally, South Gloucestershire Council has decided to replace the paving stones in front of NatWest Bank. These stone flagstones have to be sourced and ordered specially. And the council has arranged something better than mere warning signs. Whilst the process of acquiring replacement flagstones is going on, the council has put barriers around the area. There now seems to be an understanding within the council that if a pavement is considered to be dangerous, then the public should be alerted to that fact until such time as the repair can be effected. So the entire area is cordoned off by barriers.
position of the barriers did make the remaining accessible pavements just a narrow strip. This caused problems for those taking part in Good Friday's Walk of Witness, organised by Thornbury Churches together. But we don't need to worry too much about them. Meanwhile, over in Gillingstool, the cracked tarmac footpath has been patched and made safe. High Street Silver Birches, they may be gone, but they are still making an impact. <laughs> 